Yossi Sharif from Akban. I'm going to explain the flow chart we're doing all the time. Okay, it's the middle hold flow chart. If I want to execute either Morote or Drop Morote, I create some loose clause here, okay? Because if it is very, very tight and it is very tough, gi, and I cannot do the Morote. So if he holds me, okay, then I can do other throws like this, but not the flow chart. The flow chart starts with this hold. If he holds me, I have to, okay. If he holds me, I have to take his hands and then I control him. All the time moving, the opposite direction from his right hand or back hand because he can cross punch me if I'm standing here too much. It's not just throws, okay? He can punch. So let's see how I get into this. First, I can do the 4 1 or 4 2. He blocks. And again, I ambush him, create an intentional block. Grab his hand and have the hold. Again. When I have the hold, I'm going here. We'll see in a minute why. Okay, I'm going here because I want this leg to be in front of his leg. I'm opening myself for Dashi Barai that he will he might do. Okay, I know it, but uh, this allows me the seven techniques that I can finish with. Again, one. Second way is he is holding like this and he, he will not block, okay? When I, when I do this, he defends by creating this uh, helmet, okay, with his hands. So when I see this, I know that he will not open. I will not be able to get to the hole from the inside. So I have another option to get into the hole, which is to help him to close the helmet, okay? So I just lower his hand here and do an underhook and instead of doing the half clinch, I do the half clinch and I slide. Do the half clinch and I slide. All the way, okay? Getting away from his right cross. Again. So I see that when I threaten him with a cross punch, he blocks. So now I know he will not open up. And I will use it to do this. And I get here, hold. Now, this is one way to close the distance and get into the basic hold that is the center of the flow chart, which is this. I hold this flap of the geek. Okay, and I hold the hand, we'll see why, at various heights. Either here for a sode, or here for a very safe outside seoe throw. Okay, so if I want to do the sode, it will be from here. And if I want to do a safe throw, I'll do it from here. Why is it safe? Because if I would be holding him here, might break the elbow in Randori. This is not a good outcome in those dojo situation. But if he's holding him, holding me like this, there is no way I can do the flow chart. So I have to get rid of the hands. So good technique to get rid of the hands is, is judo technique. Okay? Of course I can kick him in street situation. But in Randori situation it's not so good. So I do this 
if he continues to hold me, okay, and I get away. So I want to create this hold. If he will be holding my sleeve, then I have to get rid of it. Okay, so this is the hold I'm aiming to. Now, what are the techniques that can be done from this hold? So I'm moving away. And again, let's repeat, if he stands, then I close distance, either this way, with outside, getting under hook, sliding my hand on the lapel and holding him, or from the inside, interchanging this grip with this grip. So I'm doing this, and of course I can ambush him, okay, or prepare a trap, the blocks, and I have this. And from here, I can move in any direction, any throw that you learn. First one, let's not forget the simple one. Let's go back. Second one, I take my leg here and do a back step. Again with the legs. Hold. And do a back step. And I don't know. I can do this. He thinks I'm going into the Morote, but I'm going into a much more dangerous throw for him. I'm going into the Ninjitsu Seoe with the opposite lapel hold. I'm going from here. So if we check the regular Ninjitsu Seoe, which is left hand holds left hand, and get underneath and break. You say my lucky boy. Okay, so this is the regular Ninjitsu Seoe. Now I will do the same thing, but from the opposite way. He thinks I'm going into Morote, and I'm going into Seoe. Again, and throw. starting from the inside. Okay, I clear his hand and I have the inside opposite lapel hole. Now I return. Okay. Pay attention in the kataguruma to be in a 90 degrees angle to his to the to the line that connects both his feet. starts to be really dynamic, then what I do is a scissor leg, Tomoe And the way to train for it is to do one, just to educate yourself. Two, three, you see the outside leg lifts, but I do the Tomoe Nage with the inside leg. Okay, and if I want to do it gently, I will let him fall here. If I want to do it not so gently, I will pull him above my head. Let's try again, please. So this is just for training. One, two, three, four, push down. In order for me not to throw him hard while training, I really bend my knee. So I don't push hard. I will push hard once he falls, okay? 
Once his ukemi is okay, then I will push hard. Right now, I don't want to do it. I want to educate both of us, my opponent for a good ukemi, and me for the sequence of the legs. And then when he controls, then I can do it in one step. One, and push. Okay? Only after he controls the weight of his form. Everybody put boxing gloves. <laughs> <laughs>